Hey guys, Cody here. I'm going to show you how to get the best results using a large design shot plate. This is a frequently asked question we get. So first things first, you're going to start off melting some silver. I recommend fine silver for shots. It's easier to move than sterling. You're going to want to take a charcoal block, and if you don't have one, just use a piece of plywood or 2x4 like I'm doing here. Just make sure it's untreated so you're not stinking up your shop with a bunch of smelly chemicals. In the video, I didn't use flux. I didn't use anything like that. I put a bundle of silver together and I just started heating it with my torch until it all came together into one fine bead. As you can see here, it works perfectly fine. You want to let that thing cool or quench it yourself. Take the silver and put it inside the impression. Next, you're going to want to take a force tool and just force the silver down on the impression. It doesn't need to be perfect. You just need to get it somewhat inside. And if you look here, you're going to see that the sides have not been filled with the silver. That usually seems to be a hang up for most people and I'm going to show you now how to fix that. So now you want to take your force tool and from the center of the silver, force the silver to the side. Angle your tool and, and hammer it, forcing the silver out to the sides, filling in those spaces. So you can see here I'm going from the center and working to the right and to the left. Those are the two areas that I was having trouble filling. So as I'm working it, I'm going back and forth to make sure that each side is even. So back, forth, back, forth. Now you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're paying attention because as you do this, there's a chance that your silver may pop out of the impression. Another trick if you run into this is to take a piece of tape, whether it be electrical or some sort of tape of, of that sense, you can hold it back into place. Now you can see that I'm still missing a small section here in the corner. I'm gonna continue doing the same thing, moving the silver from the center out to the side that I'm trying to fill. And I'm slowly going to work my way around the entire piece, evenly moving it out. But it's important to work your way from the center out. If you just keep working the sides, you're just going to spread the metal thin. Now, if you're lucky, it should just pop out on its own. If not, use a 132nd nail set tool to pull it out. And as you can see here, this is how you get the same good results over and over again.